Today's video, we travel to the Mushroom Kingdom as we have a look at the Pixel Pals Mario and his brother Luigi. Fearless and able to transform into multiple powerful forms, Mario is the noble hero of the Mushroom Kingdom. Always willing to leap into action, mustache and all, Mario has continued to grow from his humble origins. Mario's unrivaled courage and cheerful attitude makes him the undisputed fan favorite. Luigi, though, naturally timid Luigi, has cemented his legacy throughout the Mushroom Kingdom and beyond. Despite being more cautious than his twin brother Mario, Luigi has proven himself to be a fierce competitor at everything from high jumping to driving. His heroic tendencies and lovable personality will continue to inspire his adventures for years to come. What's really neat about the new Pixel Pal packaging, a lot of P's there, is the fact that now they have that little try me button be below. I don't believe that they actually had that before where it will allow you to light up each of the individual Pixel Pals. There's Mario. And once again, there's Luigi. And that's what it looks like on the back of the box. The box backs are different from one another. You can see that uh, World 1-1 is given and awarded to Mario and World 1-2 is awarded to his brother Luigi. With also the new packaging, when you do open these up and take the Pixel Pal out, I just wanna show you what it actually looks like. There's the button on the front and there's this little battery supply that connects to the undercarriage, the under area of, War of Mario. You just have to disconnect it like so. And if you want to turn this then on, it does still require the batteries. The batteries are only just like a temporary trial battery, just to do the try me option uh, when you are taking them out of the packaging. One thing you could actually even do is take the wiring completely out of the clamshell casing, and you'd still have the button activation here, and you'd have the batteries that you could plug into the undercarriage of Mario. Now the thing is though, these are TriMe batteries, so I don't know how long they're gonna last, but at the very least you could plug that right into the under bottom, the bottom foot area of Mario, and you'd still have the light up option of the button. The thing is though, when you are plugging that in, if say you went this route, you would have to make sure that it's set to off. If you switch it to on, there is no batteries inside currently of Mario, uh, the button doesn't work. You see that? When you switch it back over to off, the button does work. And again, like you could theoretically in in favor of the uh, you know little button, the little on and off switch on the back, just use the little button that little button try me that came included with the packaging. It's one good way also of being able to just immediately go up to it, turn it on, turn it off if somebody wanted to see it. Being that these are identical to one another, we're only going to measure Mario. Sorry, Luigi, but the measurements for Mario will also hold true to his twin brother, Luigi. So taking the Ultra Measuretron and measuring to the very top of Mario, we know from bottom to the top, this Pixel Pal of Mario stands five inches tall, which also is for Luigi. Switching that to centimeters, then you're looking at 12.7 centimeters for each one. The true way, though, of displaying these pixelized heroes, though, is installing two AAA batteries. And I've already gone ahead and done that to the back of Mario here. There is, as we've already looked at, the on and off switch that will trigger the light up effect. And we'll see that also in a second. Before we do that, though, uh, we're going to have a quick look at how these guys look without being lit up. Um, they are, of course, 8-bit renditions of how they look in Super Mario Bros. 1, and I guess to some extent Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese version, and not, of course, the Doki Doki Panic uh, re-release in the North American Super Mario Bros. 2. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Now, I've already had a look technically at the first Mario, but we never had a chance to look at the Luigi. And, of course, I thought I couldn't do justice just to have one looked at, but we're going to have a look at both of them because they are identical to one another. Colorings on, say, face, hands, and even, like, the buttons on their overalls 
are identical to one another. They're this flesh tone. Where the colors, of course, vary is that Luigi has the green, uh, you know, the green mustache, the green hair, and the green shirt, whereas Mario has it all brown. Of course, this would be something that would change later on. Luigi would not have consistently green hair along with his green outfit. This would be switched then to black. But back in the day, this was the way to decipher between if you were playing two players, Luigi and or Mario. Um, I love, again, Pixel Pals, the very pixelized look of the characters, especially like the fact that they have this black outlining to them, which makes them help, what aids to help them stand out when you have them on display. Um, if you look at them really quite closely, what you're looking at, though, is individual little well, little squares of translucent plastic. This will allow that when it does light up, it lights up through the back and it illuminates all the colored tiling here, which we'll go ahead and switch on right now. So this is what it looks like without the light. Switching it over, this is what it looks like with the light. The light, in a way, somewhat distorts the coloring of Mario, makes him look a lot brighter than what he does in the game. We'll go ahead and do the exact same thing with Luigi, and you can see how quickly this whole area here gets illuminated. Switching that also over to Luigi, I guess they kind of look better from a distance in the fact that because the light is so bright coming through those individual uh, tilings of color, uh, the bright the brightness of the light definitely does throw the coloring slightly off. One thing I wish that, and I mentioned this, I think at the time that I did the review of the Mario one, is I wish that there was like a little hole. And I'm trying to think of whereabouts it could possibly have been, maybe even on the side. Just a little thumbtack hole where if you put these on the wall, you could have hung them right up. As it currently goes right now, the only way to display them is to stand them up onto a shelf, which is what I'm currently doing right now with many of my favorite Pixel Pals. An alternative also to using batteries is using also an 8-bit USB adapter, which Pixel Pals supplies to a lot of stores too. So if you don't want to necessarily have to go through continuing to burn through batteries, you have the option of using the adapters. Now one thing actually, when I did do the initial reviews of some of the Pixel Pals, the only AC adapter that I was aware that they had produced, let me just open this one up right here, was the smaller uh, panel covering. Now if you look at the one on the older Pixel Pals, you'll see that the size of the door is drastically different than this adapter. I think recently, in recent memory, Pixel Pals released this AC adapter, which if you look at the two, the battery compartments are basically already built into the back of the panel door, but if you look at the difference between the two, these are for the newer Pixel Pals. If I flip that around the other way here, and these ones are for like the older ones, like the Mario's for example. So I'm glad that they, I don't know if they had done this initially, but I'm glad that they've now finally given us the opportunity to display these figures, these Pixel Pals, with an AC adapter support instead. So if you want to use the AC adapter, what you're going to do is open up the back panel, take out the batteries. No, I'm not sponsored by, Dur by Duracell. I just have to throw that out there in case somebody was going to say, are you sponsored by Duracell? No, I'm not. No, I'm not sponsored by Duracell. And then we're going to replace it with the battery contained adapter plate. Slide it up right into those grooves, pop it into place. And then when you've got the AC adapter plug, which is also included, it's a micro USB. You're going to plug it into this end here and plug the other end to either a USB enabled device like a PC, laptop, or even a USB hub. Or if you also have an adapter plug, you could take the AC adapter, uh, this part of the plug, and plug it into the adapter and then you'd be able to plug it into the wall. Which just so happens to be one that I have readily plugged in right now. I can go ahead and plug that into the back and then we'll go ahead and switch it on. And you can now get something that's going to remain illuminated and you don't have to worry about constantly changing out batteries. Now really, to be fair though, the Pixel Pals, the ones that I have had, the ones that have just had batteries running with them, I'm not always going to be running them on a regular basis. But I can tell you though, on average, when I was plugging these in and turning them on and off with the supplied, well, with the batteries installed, uh, I was usually able to get these to run for several months, I think about four or five months until the batteries started to fade on them. So even like the batteries, they don't seem to absorb a lot of the battery energy right off the bat. They're not battery draining collectibles, for example. But at the very least, if you do get yourself like the USB adapter, for example, you would be able to display them all the time, always plugged in, 
And I've gone to even like comic book stores where they have constantly displayed these and they generally go the route of using USB adapters. And I've actually picked up some of these just to feel if they're actually warm. And quite the contrary, they still remain just as cool to the touch as they are when you get them initially out of the box. Pixel Pals really are the answer to the question, it's holiday season. I want to buy a gift for somebody that loves retro games, but they already have all the games, the consoles, the joysticks, the controllers. I want to get them a fun little collectible, but I don't want to break the bank. What what do I do? Pixel Pals really are the answer for that. They're affordable at around a $10 price point each, and they also illuminate, which is an added bonus. These are fun collectibles to be putting on display all year round, but... One thing that you can also do too, is you can kind of work around the idea of, I don't have Christmas lights. What do I put out that can be illuminated for the holiday season? Right here, you've got the Pixel Pals. You can light these up and put them on your mantle, and they're kind of a nice little placement piece instead of using Christmas lights. Pixel Pals has a whole wide range of different characters from various video games, and we're going to cover off a lot of these during the holiday season. Again, they're a great gift idea because they're affordable, they're illuminated, and they represent some of the classic 8-bit characters that many of us adults grew up with. I think they're not necessarily specific to just adults. I think kids are also going to really love these as well. Today, though, we were having a look at some more Pixel Pals. This was the Pixel Pals Super Mario. This was number 9, Super Mario, or Mario. And then we were also looking at number 10, his brother Luigi. Because we didn't get a chance to look at Luigi before. If you guys want to go back, by the way, and have a look at some of my, my other Pixel Pal reviews, don't worry, there's going to be a whole bunch of them coming to this channel soon. But if you want to go back and have a look at some of the other ones that I've done up to this point, there's a playlist just for you. Also, if you want some other great holiday ideas, even though we're kind of getting down to the wire, you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell notification if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned, because there's going to be a lot of other great gift ideas videos coming to this channel. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. And I'll see you next time.